Hey there guys, welcome back for another Warhammer 40,000 Imperium magazine review. This week, issue 8. And with this issue, we get our Necron Overlord. Now, he comes on one sprue. He is not a push fit model. He does require glue for assembly, but he is super easy to assemble. You don't need to um, assemble him or in sub assemblies. You can just assemble him all as one and paint him. Um, the only bit I would say to maybe leave off would be his cloak here um, that goes on the back as it does cover the back of his legs. Um, but aside from that, the rest can be painted and then you can attach that later or attach it and, you know, paint it and don't worry too much about the inside that you can't see greatly anyway. It's entirely up to you. Um, but that is the only piece that I would say maybe leave off and then attach at the end. But overall, he's not a bad model. Um, price up on the screen here so you can see what he cost. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think he's about £15, something like that. Um, so obviously we do get a saving with this one. Um, also with this, we get some some dice, six dice to add to the six that we got from the uh, issue one. So each player will have six dice or 12 dice between you. Um, obviously I'm not gonna put the cost of the dice in with this, maybe add pound 50, two pound. And then there's probably what that would cost you in, you know, just some plain white dice. You can probably pick that up from a toy shop for a pound somewhere. But yeah, essentially this is what we're comparing the price for. So. That's what that is. Right, so a villainous Necron Overlord. Name and customize your Necron Noble and paint your Necron's collection. Now, with this Necron, you can see he has a scythe and a resurrection orb. That is how he comes. There's no extra parts that we can swap out or whatever. However, you can convert him. You can take his hand off and add a weapon um, you can cut the top of the scythe off and add um, like a reaper blade or something on the top there um, that comes down the side and you can change him but obviously you have to make sure that you know what weapon options are available to overlords um, so yeah he's customizable he's not too uh too difficult to swap out a few bits you can swap out whole arm if you want um, I do believe that this is possibly attached to the foot that his leg is on with the stone, but you can clip it off, smooth it out, make it look like the rest of the stone. Um, but yeah, not too bad to customize a pretty good model as it is. So the Overlord, Regal Necron Tyrant. So he's got a resurrection orb. These glowing orbs are carried by many Necron nobles. The bearer can activate this device with a gesture, channeling his pow its power into the bodies of damaged Necrons. The regeneration circuits of the Fallen are empowered by this energy. In an instant, the remains of seemingly obliterated Necrons crawl together and stand ready to fight again. Then he's got a dynastic panoply, so the more regal uh, headpiece there um, and then he's got the Ankh of the or the Ankh of the Triarch so all Necrons bear this symbol as a reminder of their race's former glory and then as I said he's got the Vord Scythe now it does say here uh, Tachyon Arrow I don't think he has a Tachyon Arrow um, there's another model that came with the uh, Indomitus um, box set it was a different overlord and he actually has um, I think it's a, a void blade or something like that with a tachyon arrow instead and he doesn't have this so you can like I said swap them out a little bit but I do believe that this Necron overlord doesn't have one um, obviously you can say that he does and as long as your opponent is happy with that um, if you're playing WYSIWYG rules so what you see is what you get then obviously he can't Friendly games, you can say, you know, I've got a Tachyon Arrow on there as well. Then this is the battle record. So obviously last week I mentioned 
where we've got the list of names um, that you can make up. This is what I was referring to when you can add their names and you know degradation from the charts here. But essentially, his noble designation, his name, will be what you use from uh, refer to B background one to generate a name, which is what we got last week's issue. Then we have the how to build. So again, straightforward. We've seen these before. Um, don't need to sub-assembly apart from maybe the cloak on the back. I will say that the cloak is only held on by a small piece at the bottom. Um, it's a little bit fiddly keeping it glued on. I had a little bit of trouble with it. Um, but, you know, get your glue on there and just hold it for a good minute. Let it start to set and then you should be good to go. Um, but yeah, that's the finished model. Cables, make sure you paint the cables dangling from the chest and the smaller cables at the base of the back plate. Well, obviously. Uh, so we're looking at the how to paint here. So we're going through and obviously using the colours that we got last week on the Necrons now. So we're adding the whites to anything that is going to be glowing green. Obviously, if you've seen my Necron painting videos, then you know this is how I do it as well. Also, the uh, Reaper blades. I think that's what they are called, or Void Blade, something like that. Um, they are painting those white, and the same with the rocks and stuff that they I assume they are going to do in a glowing green. Um, headdress, the orb, and then the golds. Obviously, they're showing to paint a couple of the details in the golds, um, such as the Royal Warden's neck piece and his cloak. Now you'll notice they're doing the cloak differently on this one. Um, so obviously up to you how you want to do it. And then we've got the other details for the other models using the paints that we've got the last few issues. So going in and painting all the details black. As I said, these is, this is for the Sarakan dynasty. Um, so when we get the models next week, I'll show how to paint one of these guys up as I've already shown you how I'm painting my models. So we'll have a look at painting a Sarakan dynasty warrior for this week's model obviously check the video up in the corner there and you'll see how he is being painted uh, to fit in with my army and then we have the playthrough so the overlord rises it's the overlord against the primaris aggressors and using the small mat check the card up there for the playthrough and do be sure please to hit the like button on that video the more interaction i get from you guys um hitting like on those videos come issue 10 a few issues time i'll know whether or not to continue doing them um which also reminds me hit the like button for this video if you're enjoying this video guys and uh also that subscribe button so rules wise i don't think there is anything new this week obviously we've got their rules um we know how how to use them now the necron overlord doesn't have any shooting weapons so he is purely uh, melee. And then the Primaris Aggressors, we know how to use them from the previous issue. So yeah, just a, a quick little playthrough again on the small mat. And there we have it. So issues nine and 10 next week and the following week. As I'm recording this, I've just got my uh, delivery of issues seven to 10. I am considering playing a little bit of catch up and possibly doing issue nine and 10 as one video next week um, to catch up a little bit. So check that out and we'll see what I've decided to do um, for painting the video, painting video for those. It will be painting them like these guys for the uh, Sarakan dynasty. But yeah. That is it for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said earlier, please hit that like button. Check out the painting video and play through up in the corner there. If you are not yet subscribed and you are enjoying these videos, hit that subscribe button. Ding the bell and get notifications of when more videos go live every Wednesday. Um, obviously, three videos. You get the, uh, the playthrough, a painting video, and the magazine review. So do check those out. If you have recently subscribed, a huge warm welcome to you, to the Inner Circle. Thank you for your support. But until next time, guys, take it easy. Keep painting those minis.